Greetings folks, the good people at T-Motor have sent me another motor to have a look at. I've already tested the AS2317 1400kV and I've put it on a, a lightweight build of the Mini Talon here, it works absolutely beautifully. This is the AS2820 1150kV, uh, a much bigger motor, suitable for uh, bigger planes, around about the 2 kilogram mark or something like that. So T-Motor have the AT series, which is their sort of normal, good quality motors, and they have the AS series, which is meant to be sort of an entry level. They are still extremely good quality motors. On the website, they say that this motor is specifically designed for 3D type planes, so something that needs a, a lot of decent power. Uh, I don't have any 3D planes, but I can use it on something like Stearman, these sort of retro, bigger retro planes, or the Dynam, uh, Tiger Moth up there, all my retro scratch builds. This will be a perfect motor for those sort of big, reasonably heavy sorts of planes. So I'll just open it up and it's very nicely packaged, little information card there. A little bit of silica gel, nice attention to detail that. Uh, there it is packaged in there. So let's pull the whole thing out. We get a nice substantial X mount there. There's the motor, that's, that's quite a big motor. Compare that in size to that one. We have the three bullet connectors already connected there. We have the shaft coming out that side uh, for wall mount on a, behind a firewall. And we also get the sort of bolt-on shaft, which goes on this end uh, for the more normal setup where the motor sits out in front of the firewall. Just looking at the specs on the box, uh, the weight with cable is 142 grams, so it's quite a heavy motor and it's rated to 3S or 4S. So all I have to do now is work out which plane I'm going to put it on and take it out and put it through its paces. So I've mounted the motor on my uh, big 2.7 metre homemade glider uh, with a 10 by 6 prop and a 3S battery. So we're just going to do a current test to make sure I'm not going to blow out the ESC. I've got a 40 amp ESC in there. So that got up to 30 amps pretty much, so 40 amp EC is going to be fine and has plenty of thrust. Alright, let's try this big T motor on a big glider, 2.7 metre glider, uh, with weighs about 1800 grams, so I think it'll be perfect. Hopefully, there's a bit of wind around, so hopefully this will have enough power for decent climb outs. 3S 2200 to start off with. Here we go. 10 by 6 prop. Oh yeah. Oh perfect. Oh just r correctly matched I would say. I'll motor around. Actually I'll turn it off and glide. Oh gosh. It's looking good. Fair bit of wind around there. And thermals too. <laughs> well, it's not a good test for the motor. At least the you know the climb out's good. We'll do a bit of motoring around in a little while while I, <laughs> I'm just going to have some fun thermaling. I should have. Vario on there. So this is a homemade sort of pod and boom glider using the Phoenix 2400 wings with a 30 millimeter, uh, 30 centimeter center section to join them together. Um, so that makes it 2.7 metre. Fair bit of wing area. Boy, that is climbing nicely. I've only used the motor for the initial climb out. I'm supposed to be testing the motor, but I'm having too much fun climbing.
What a lovely big beast. All right, we'll do a bit of general flying around, even though there's good thermal activity there. Fair bit of wind, and it's just, it's pulling into it no problems at all. Perfect for this big glider. Quiet and powerful. Yeah, lovely. Of course, this using it on this glider, you're just going to use it for big, big, powerful climb outs. But it works, works fine as uh, a general flying around. Let's do a punch out. Pulling about 20 amps, full full bore, and then chop it off and go for a glide. It's a lifty day and windy. So although this T Motor AS series, uh, they call it sort of for the entry level but they are really seriously good quality motors powerful and efficient I've found nice looking nicely designed too punch out again and up we go it's not even full bore actually I'd say it's perfectly suited to this size glider with the prop that I've got on 3S doesn't need any more power oh there's a lot of wind there That's what you want, the extra power, just to punch you out of trouble. It's always very turbulent here behind that fence there. We get a little downdraft sort of that forces your planes down unexpectedly on a windy day. Um, so it's nice having that power to spare to get out of trouble. Yep. Very nice. Let's do some onboard footage. So after a few good climb outs, we've still got 55% left in the battery. So just a 22 3S. So I'm tipping we're pretty efficient.
So that's the T motor AS series 2820 1050 kV motor. It's a ripper for a, a big glider like this. I think it's designed for 3D planes, they say, but uh, equally as good on any other big plane that needs good, reliable, efficient power. Thanks for watching.